And you'll start putting down layer by layer our trachea. Todd Goldstein, one of the lead investigators at the Feinstein Institute for Medical Research in New York, is 3D printing a tracheal segment using living cells. With a team of surgeons, Goldstein created cartilage rings to repair a damaged or diseased trachea, also known as the windpipe. We can't create any more tracheal length. And when the disease of the trachea is long, is encompassing a long segment of trachea, we can't resect all of that disease. A 3D printed windpipe could offer patients an alternative to invasive procedures such as a tracheostomy, a surgical opening in the trachea. The uh, complications go anywhere from related to a mechanical properties of the tracheostomy itself. It could be related to the bleeding. It could be related to ongoing infection. First, MRI and CAT scans are used to replicate a 3D computer design of a patient's trachea. Once programmed into the printer, two types of materials begin to build the trachea. A syringe made up of living cells called bio-ink and polylactic acid, or PLA, a naturally occurring filament. It'll put that down, making our scaffold layer by layer, and then it'll switch to put the cells on, then it'll go back to the PLA. It's then placed in a bioreactor so the cells can multiply and attach to the PLA until it's transplanted. If this is the, the repair for the damage, you can come and put it in place and it'll be living and taking care of this part that we took out. More research is needed before Goldstein and his team can obtain FDA approval, but they believe they are only years away. We believe this technology, um, adding 3D printing and tissue engineering, merging these two technologies together will save lots of lives. Goldstein says successful research has been conducted in animal models. For more information on this research, visit FeinsteinInstitute.org. I'm Laura Engel. Fox News.